Hi guys, welcome to Sweet Designs by Sara channel. We're gonna learn how to make a cute little foxy cake today with a lot of techniques. It's an easy cake, but you will learn how to make some roses and some of the other stuff that goes with this cake. So let's see how this is gonna be made. Start with a seven inch round cake layer and start building up your cake. As you can see, I have a bright orange color buttercream. All you do is make your buttercream and then add in some gel orange food color. So that's how you're going to get a vibrant, nice orange color. Do not use any liquid colors. They're not good for uses in buttercream. Dirty ice or thinly ice your cake and then put it in the refrigerator to chill and then do your second layer of buttercream that's how you get a really nice smooth buttercream look is you need to do first layer of thin buttercream chill it in the fridge and then do another layer put a huge blob of icing on top of the cake and then start spraying it around and then once you have your um, icing lip on the sides use that to spread on the sides of the cake and then keep adding and then to make your cake smooth use a cake scraper as always do the best you can in smoothing out your icing so that it looks beautiful and smooth at the end of your decoration prepare your piping bag by using a coupler as well as a petal tip and you're going to need this to make some beautiful buttercream roses start your flower base by making the center so what i use is i had some fondant and then i added in some tylose powder to make this hard so you use that to make like a you know cone shape and then you need to have a couple of parchment paper squares as well as a flower nail which you see on the screen that has a little bit of purple icing um, that little thing that i'm holding is called a flower nail and then i have placed a flower center in the middle and then just watch how I'm doing this. Here's our first flower made and my suggestion would be to practice, practice, practice. You know, even I need to practice more. <laughs> You should closely look at the tip. The fat part is at the bottom and the thin part is on the top. So that's how you always want to use to make the center of the flower. And then you start making the three petals. And then you go to the next layer and make four to five more petals. Then you go to the next lane and make more petals until you feel your flower is all complete. Make a bunch of these and pop these in the freezer so that when you need them, you have them ready and all hard. You can simply use your hands to place them on the cake. It's so easy. Start again by making a closed center, then add three 
petals or three layers on the first one and then you go down and then add four to five more then go more and just keep adding these petals as you feel if you want to make smaller flowers don't add as many layers if you want bigger flowers add more layers and trust me you'll get this once you have lots and lots of practice um, you anytime you have buttercream at home just practice you know that's what's going to make you perfect and i mean they're flowers they don't have to be super perfect flower is a flower i personally think any flower is beautiful so even if it does not look like a rose it's not the end of the world your cake is still going to look beautiful On to the next part now we're gonna prepare our piping bag with a French star tip and then we're gonna start making some rosettes you've seen this million times already but let's see how this is gonna be made next we're doing facial features so roll out some of your white fondant and make a bean shaped and stick that to your cake that will be your foxy mouth Next, make your foxy nose by making a black small ball and just stick it in the middle of your cake at the bottom. Start making the rosettes using the French. 